first checkpoint about one hour so far of course it's gonna start raining why not it's not an ultra if it doesn't rain Third service point, three hours so far. Wow, look at that. How cool is that? It's moving. The bridge is moving. 38 kilometers so far. I have to admit I made a huge mistake and haven't done my homework and I didn't check how many aid stations we're gonna have and I assume that we're gonna have them on every 10-15 kilometers so from the last one I took only half liter of water and just one banana and of course I ran out of water actually the distance between the last help station and the next one is 30 and something kilometers, 32 kilometers and I got so dehydrated luckily just a minute ago one really nice Finnish man helped me with he shared his water with me so I have about 15 more kilometers until I get some more very very stupid of me I need water. I found water. Oh my goodness. Thank you. I hope that water is okay. Hello Martin, my man. How are you doing? Huh, so far so good. Yeah, so what's the feeling? Pain. <laughs> Pain. <laughs> Pain but everywhere. <laughs> pleasure at the same time. So, uh, how do you feel about finishing? Are you going to go to the end? Yes, I still feel quite positive even though I'm not performing that well. I mean, I don't have any problems. Have you like been training well for this? No, not really. <laughs> not really? <laughs> That's so you just think, okay, I'll do it. <laughs> yeah, I'll just go Whatever. for it. <laughs> Ooh, finally! Finally! <laughs> the 53 kilometer. Alright. Something to drink. Yes. Good luck, man. Thanks. Nine hours and 40 minutes from the start and I'm leaving the checkpoint on kilometer 53. The night is coming. Another beautiful bridge. I just spent two hours talking with that nice Finnish guy. Sorry for that his name. Ooh, this bridge is moving a lot. I'm gonna put the phone in my pocket. It is 2.20
night time. You see how bright it is, that's impressive. It didn't get dark at all. Uh, so now I've been moving for 14 hours and 20 minutes. I think I'll reach, I'm five kilometers away from the middle of the race where I'm gonna have to start heading back. So it will take me about 15 hours altogether, one way. Uh, for some reason, I feel cold. I feel really cold. I, at some point I thought I was close to hypothermia. I started shivering. And I don't know why. It's, it's about plus six, I guess. And I see all the, all the other runners. They're, they're fine. They're on, on their t-shirts. I just, I just feel so cold. So, at 4 a.m. I just left the aid station that is just at the middle. Now I'm heading back. So it's 4 a.m. This means uh, I am moving now for uh, 12, 14, 16 hours. 16 hours, cutoff time is 36, 16, 32. Uh, my brain just doesn't work. How much time do I have left? So I made it here for 16 hours. Yeah, I have 20 hours to get back. Fingers crossed. So now I have uh, 53 kilometers left and 13 hours. It sounds a lot, plenty of time, but in my condition is not. Everything hurts. Pain, sharp pain in the left knee. And I'm very tired. <laughs> but I don't want to complain. I'll try. I'll try my best. I am now 23 kilometers away from the final line, but I decided to quit. Even though I have uh, five hours left, I just, I don't think I can make it. It was a good battle. I really enjoyed it. I just finished 31 kilometers. But are you ready for the last uphill? <laughs> it's a, just a two meter elevation. You can compare it with the vertical, but a very short one. Do you need any help? You look like quite shocked of the boobs you just saw. Yes. <laughs>